Hello everyone, today we are going to look at Ethereum and uh, we are trying to analyze some of the news items which are claiming that Ethereum is uh, going to suffer because of uh, how the market dynamics is and uh, we kind of agree with it and I'm going to give you some reasons of uh, what is happening. So typically if you see we are on the coin market cap and all the coins move like if it's a negative day like today uh, you are seeing everything in red. There are almost similar percentage losses, some more, some less. Uh, but uh, market moves almost uh, together. Uh, but uh, if you see the Ethereum versus uh, Bitcoin chart, so this is not a Ethereum on a US dollar level. This is a Ethereum versus Bitcoin. You can clearly see that this is not the case. They are not moving exactly in the same percentage term. 2017 was huge when uh, Ethereum went 200 times against Bitcoin and uh, then it suffered a lot uh, um, before again uh, jumping back in recent times. And now we are again going up and down. Uh, we are going to look at some factors which are going to impact uh, Ethereum going forward. So before we go to that, uh, we are going to look at uh, the biggest ICO which is EOS. Uh, uh, EOS has been raising money only in Ethereum. So there are a lot of ICOs which raise money in uh, um, um, Bitcoin or Litecoin and there are a lot of other things opening up now. Uh, earlier it only started with Bitcoin then Ethereum took over because of low network fees and so on. Uh, but Ethereum is no longer the only coin available to fund ICOs but if you see um, US is the biggest ICO ever they raised a four billion dollar worth of Ethereum now if you see all this move from down to, uh, at like uh, almost below two hundred dollars to uh, a peak of fifteen hundred dollars there's a lot of money which was flowing in because of uh, EOS and uh, now the EOS ICO is coming to an end so if you see here we have less than two hours left and US, this is the last period and US ICO is coming to an end. So there's whole uh, demand which, which was almost $4 billion uh, of Ethereum that is going to disappear, which was the case for last one year. Then there's another case of uh, all this money US raised that is uh, sitting with them and they are slowly withdrawing it. So if you see there are one big two spikes in the withdrawals. So this is the... Uh, uh, May 2nd and this actually not May 2nd it's May 4th and uh, this is the withdrawal on May 23rd and if we go back and look at uh, these uh, two dates on a smaller scale maybe on an hourly chart you will see that there was huge volume spikes on these uh, three days after that so this is May 28th and uh, then you have another day when after May 4th this was May 7th and if you compare it with the rest of the day the volumes on Bitfinex this is huge volumes being sell, uh, selling and US had a huge fall versus Bitcoin uh, both of these days. Uh, there's a similar article which is claiming that they have confirmed. So this is a trust nodes article which says US just sent out. This was published today and uh, this is not yet sold in Bitfinex. So there's a big fall coming on Ethereum if they are right. And they are claiming that they have conclusive evidence based on they have tracked, they have been tracking the wallets of crowd sale and how it is going into intermediate wallets and finally lending up in the Bitfinex wallets. And uh, as I showed you, there is a very good correlation between when EOS withdraws from its wallets and when actual sale happen in Bitfinex. So I kind of trust this analysis and I have myself have tried to track it over blockchain. It's all public information. You can also do that. And uh, there is going to be putting a lot of pressure on, um, EOS, uh, on Ethereum because EOS will continue selling. They need to fund their programs. They have been raising money with VCs and they have to fund their dApps. So even today they announced a new fund, which is a London-based uh, company, SVK Crypto, and they are going to fund $50 million. So where is this money going to come from? Is This is the same money which EOS has been raising. And also, it's a for-profit company and they, are going, they have no obligations uh, other than delivering the software. So all this money they raised, they can use it as they wish and they may start new projects based on EOS or may not be on based on EOS and they may pay their employees, uh, their executives. So it's up to them how they utilize these funds and all of those funds are sitting in Ethereum and they have to sell in the market uh, if they really want to deploy those funds. So this is going to put a lot of selling pressure on Ethereum while the buying is going to disappear because most of the usual ICO, if you go back to these coins, anybody who is raising money you will see that they hardly raise like $40 million, $50 million. Those are considered successful projects. While EOS was raising $4 billion. That means almost $45 million every day 
for last 350 days and that was where the ethereum demand was and now that demand is disappearing and the same people who raised it they are going to sell it this is very much valid because that's what the ico was for and people believed in us that's why they pumped so much money into it and uh, now ethereum is facing this selling pressure uh, so again if the news is true that uh, uh, they are moving another 120 million dollar worth of e ethereum we can see another big drop in ethereum so be careful um, another thing which somebody noticed is um, the ethereum this is another article which is published today interestingly so everybody is looking at the same thing and they are saying that ethereum is facing ico pressure uh, one thing which can work in its favor is that uh, there is a huge short interest in ethereum that means people are shorting it and there can be a short squeeze if ethereum doesn't fall enough uh, but i think this is interesting to see how this market dynamics play out but in long run i do not see how ethereum can generate the same level of demand which eos created for them and also we have already been discussing how ethereum is way inferior in terms of scalability in terms of how they can really continue working uh, uh, in terms of the gas which you need for every transaction eos is so much superior even tron which just announced their mainnet they have been showing how tron is so much superior as compared to ethereum they are also able to do much many more transactions they are able to support free transaction as well just like eos and uh, so all these delegated proof of stake based block blockchains are going to overtake utility wise from ethereum and that is another reason why ethereum can start uh, seeing la lack of interest from ico on eos you can launch an ico without any cost you can you don't even need to raise money Uh, just like every PDI is doing, or there are a lot of other projects. If you are following our uh, uh, tracking of US mainnet launch, there are so many airdrops coming. It's an amazing model of raising money while uh, means not raising money, but really still creating value and funding your project. Because once you raise awareness through airdrop, you are able to value your coins in the market, and uh, then that becomes your starting capital. So this is going to be an amazing model. It is going to kill the Ethereum model of ICO because it is a lot of trouble with sec a lot of issues which ethereum is facing because uh, sec does not like uh, money being raised uh, without uh, regulations without oversight so all these factors combined we believe that ethereum can really struggle the rest of the year and it can actually go down very fast uh, and we need you to be careful and, and make sure that you make the right decisions so, uh, don't hold a lot of ethereum um, there can be a case here that it goes to zero if uh, it fails and the people start moving to other platforms which are em emerging again thanks for joining with us um, please subscribe to our channel for more information we will continue tracking the market uh, on uh, try to bring you some content to learn more about blockchain not just speculate we believe we want to build a community where everybody learns and make investments rather than treating it as a gambling marketplace thanks a lot for joining bye bye